Where's a good place? High energy performance and a charismatic spirit. I'm talking about nobody else other than Casey Allen right here on the Chris Top program. <laughs> The The Top, top. broadcasting live to at least three people on Spreaker.com. Portions of the day's programming are reproduced by means of electrical transcriptions or tape recordings. (laughs) You can be the tech in the Chris Top program. I am the one and only Chris Top. The Chris Top Program. And I'm the one and only Chris Top, broadcasting live from our lavish home studio here in sunny Clarksville, Tennessee, with an ocean view. How in the heck are you doing, world? Uh, yeah, and I am the one and only Alley Top, broadcasting alongside the man, the myth, the legend, the radio god, the man you wish you could be but will never be, Chris freaking Top. Are you going to do that like... At CMA Fest, like, every time. Dude, I'm going to make something bigger and better for the CMA Fest. You know, Fest. we've got, like, 26 artists lined up over four days. Yeah. Every time you're going to do this? Uh, only I'm going to add on to it, so <laughs> there's going to so be more. Eventually, I'll be able to, like, get up, go to the bathroom, come back, and you'll still be, like, oh, Sam yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. I just want to... Got to make it bigger and better just every time. Trying to plan ahead. Yeah. So how's your brownie and cheese? That's an interesting combination. It's <laughs> an interesting wow. combination, but <laughs> the thing is... It's not yes. really the first time because um, there was this time that we were doing a church group and uh, my friend Tiffany comes and she brings Oreos and cheese and says that yeah. we have to eat them together and I'm like you must be tripping but then but me being, <laughs> me, being me I'm like heck yeah I'm gonna yeah, try so you it, did it. You it was for actually kind of good so now I'm kind of doing it again yeah I'm okay knowing, okay I'm, okay. I'm not gonna judge you I'm not gonna judge her ever ever will I judge you that's good, I had I had some. I'm, some cashews weird. and some cheese. Okay. Earlier. That's good. Yeah, that I mean, kind of goes together a little yeah, better, I better think. Better than though. cheese and chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> whatever, though. I mean, if it floats, you know, whatever floats your boat. I didn't do Jack today. I didn't do Jack. I went, I went and did like a couple of errands, but mm-hmm. that's it. And I just kind of like chilled. Did you do any of those hills? It was kind of nice. No, I didn't do anything. Oh. Okay. I didn't do nothing. Nothing. No. I've been doing like, well, you know, I call them hills, but they're more like flights of steps. Dude, they're hills. I've seen Casey run hills before. <laughs> like he did a video one time. And I, uh, he like showed the top of the hill. I, I think I saw clouds up there. Oh my god! Yeah, and he ran. It was a pretty high. Up, yeah, yeah was, he ran up yeah. that. Yeah, it was a mountain. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Casey, how are you today, buddy? Good, man. How you doing? Doing good. Doing, how's your water? It's gross, isn't it? It's disgusting. But yeah. It's, <laughs> it is. It is. Yeah, but it's, it's good for the throat. Yeah. It's good for the throat. That's what I told him. He'll believe anything. Someone <laughs> else, so we told him it was nasty first. We were like, this is nasty, I but. <laughs> I warned him. Yeah. Delicious. I warned him. Where's so, it from? <laughs> I don't know. So are you. The sewer? You say, I, don't know. <laughs> I don't know where it's from. It's from the sewer. It's from Italy. It's from Italy. <laughs> so you're oh, drinking sorry, that Italian Italy. water. Italian water. This is <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting. Well, it's probably good for your throat. I mean, Hopefully. more than likely. Yeah, I mean, anything's better than what it is today. Right, 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 right. So you're going to sign the picture for the Wobble Wall today. Done. You've already done it? No, not yet. Okay, I'm okay, to- okay, yeah. okay. I'm excited. See, he laughed at me because I, I said, we got to do your picture today because it's like a historical moment. And he just like, really I'll stop it. But I mean, it, I'm serious about that, though. <laughs> Look at the wall, bro. <laughs> <laughs> For me, it's a historical. Moment. He always laughs at me about that. About this I stuff. laugh I, at you every day. I know, I know you do. I know you do. So you got a lot of stuff going on. A lot of stuff going. on. I don't on even know there. where to start with you, dude. Me neither. Because it's been, it's been. I haven't seen you since we got married back in 2017. Yeah, and I was there. Yeah, you were there. Awesome. You were there, and I mean, 
all of a sudden I see stuff about this festival coming up in Ohio. Oh, well, yep. do tell. In your hometown. Yeah, and Okay, so you, you just got to kind of tell me about that. Like, how did this... What's the name of it? How did it come about? Like, how involved are you in it? How big is it? I just, I want to know. Yeah, so um, it's, uh, it'll be held in my hometown of Coshocton, Ohio, on mm-hmm. June 29th. Uh, the name of it is No Name Town Music Fest, presented by me. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, so last year, I th- um, myself and uh, my management team threw together a festival on 24 days notice to break ground just to sure. create awareness mostly in my hometown um but this year obviously the goal is to bring folks from other towns other states um and so far um just on three i'm sorry this year we will have had four three and a half four months of marketing promotion um and just in the short time we've had tickets available maybe a month um we've got We've got tickets sold in uh, Florida, um, right here in Tennessee, um, Michigan, Georgia, Alabama, North Dakota. <laughs> like there are people coming in from all over the country. So that's so cool. This year, I'm super, I'm super ecstatic about it because I just, I feel like already we've already started to break ground. We don't even have like billboards up yet. We're gonna have billboards on the highways. It's you're going all out. Like, yeah, 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 absolutely. I want it to be. Um, Ohio's biggest music festival, um, and I realize it's not going to be this year, but um, in due time, I think, sure. I think it. I think it could be if we work hard enough at it. Sure, I, you know, I, I think a lot of it too. Uh, you get on Facebook and you you say something, and and your fans they they love you. Oh man, they're incredible. Yeah, what a blessing. They absolutely adore man. you, and and it's I incredible. think that says a lot about uh, about somebody's character. I mean, because you can be talented, you can be attractive you can be all these things but if you don't have a good spirit b- about you then you're not going to get very far i don't right. think absolutely. and and i can tell that you have a good relationship with these people absolutely uh, because they love you uh yeah, for man, sure i try my best with them yeah they're awesome yeah they're yeah awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. yeah so now we got three songs we're going to play today because you're not going to be able to do one live in the studio because you've lost your voice yeah it's pretty bad i was going to make up some like story about how you got this rare disease or something you could have you should have warned me and see we what happened with is it. chris challenged me to a, a vocal competition and i i <laughs> That's a little more lighthearted than a rare disease. He's faking it because he knew I would kick his ass. Yeah, that's why. That's right. I'm like, that's why. (laughs) That's exactly what it is. That's exactly. Chris Top is such a good singer. I know. I know. I know. Okay, stop it. Okay, so sing anything like he speaks. He's. he's, I mean, this guy. I know, right? That'd be great, Uh, but I don't. It's the exact opposite. He sings and I'm like, exact dude. opposite. And then he's like, "Aren't you glad that I'm singing to you?" Okay, just stop. Okay, <laughs> so so we've got three songs. We're going to start out with with a shot of you. So I've heard this song. This is you played this one for me, I guess three years ago at CMA Fest. You played it live uh, for us during an interview. Yeah, it was and my first single. I love it when you play it live, but then when I hear it too, when I hear the recorded version, it's just cool, man. Thanks, man. It's just really cool. It was. Uh, you got was your something. together. See how I edited myself out just yeah, then? Yeah, good job. You got good. your sh- together, mother... <laughs> <laughs> We've been talking about that all day. I'm really good at this because I don't go back and edit my shows. So it's just... Right, I have so to you do it all. edit as you yeah, go. Yeah, while I go. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. Right, right, right. Self-edit. <laughs> Keep yourself out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, okay, so... The, the, the whole process for you, we're going to go back and we're going to talk about this song because a lot of people that are listening, uh, whether it's live on the show today or whether they go back and listen on iHeart or Stitcher or Spotify or Spreaker or wherever they listen, this is the first time they've ever been, ever been introduced to Casey Allen. Right. So, Shot of You, where did this song come from? Man, you know what? Um, actually, let's see, it would have been almost, almost four years ago, we had been playing it out live like... I'd say five years ago, actually, we, we started playing it out live two, three times a night in a four mm-hmm. or five hour set down on Broadway. And it's catchy as hell, man. It we really would just is. every night I tried to experiment with it. Like, Hey, let's try to start with the vocal or let's try to start with this guitar lick or let's have the drums just start. And I literally had so much time to experiment with it. And no matter how we did it, no matter how you cut it, people were just loving it like you could sing it and by the second or third time you played it everyone's singing it back and you're like wow that's that's special man that's not like yeah you know and as as artists we we do that 
every night we try something new out, maybe something that I wrote today or something I wrote last week or even something I wrote two, three years ago, you take it to the fans because ultimately they're the ones that are going to be stuck with it if they buy it, Mm -hmm. you know? Um, So we tried every single way possible. And for some reason, this was the one that no matter what other song we did, this was the one in the beginning where everybody was just singing it requesting it so we go in we cut it and put it out to just i mean honestly just itunes and google play the and blood, whatnot the public and radio stations in ohio start picking it up radio stations all over the country start randomly people I hadn't even ever met you know and um before i know it i wake up one day and i've got a top 100 on the radio you know and it wasn't something that um obviously you intend for great things to happen right, when yeah. you wake up every morning and work at something. Um, but it wasn't realistically the goal at the time. It was, you know, eventually we'll get to that point, but right now we're one pay grade above a garage band, you know? Mm-hmm. So like, let's just go after it. Mm-hmm. And the day I got the phone call, I'm like, how, how's that even, you know how hard it is. Like, mm-hmm. how's it even humanly possible? And here enough stations that, had points, you know, in the system. Yeah. I've been playing yeah. it. I'm like, what? Like, yeah. So, yeah, it was like our my very first, it was my introduction to um, artistry. You know, I, I wanted to show off uh, my personality. I was coming off a tough breakup. Um, so it was that was important for me, too. It was like a redemption kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Oh, I love the redemption. And, man, it just felt good. Everything about it. I just want, we just wanted to really sell uh, who I am on stage, and for those of you guys out there that never been to a show of mine, um, it's very high energy. It's nonstop, and uh, it's part of the reason he doesn't have a voice right now. Right, yeah. well, that yeah. I coach my five year old right. t-ball team. That's, that's healthy. <laughs> Coached the game last night and then straight to a show. Last night. <laughs> yeah, dad life. <laughs> All right, let's play the song. Uh, okay, so if you're just now tuning in, we got Casey Allen on the Chris Top program. We're gonna play "Shot of You." I guess that's good. That was a good build up, right? That was really I good. I nailed it, didn't I? Nailed it. I don't want no whiskey, but I'll take a shot of you. I'm 30 days clean from my dirty little breakup. I ain't had a thing since she lived with the good stuff. My heart's on a wagon, and it's a lonely ride. Now that DJ's a poppin' those country rap songs Been watching your hips to steppin' all night long Maybe my heart, it's about to backslide Well, I don't want no whiskey, but I'll take a shot of you Shoot you like a fireball, I bet you're a hundred proof I'm getting high, just smell your perfume I don't want no whiskey, but I'll take a shot of you I'll take a shot of you Oh yeah, I'll take a shot of you I bet you smooth Boom, 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 is that my heart or the bass drum? You're driving me crazy, baby, and then some Thinking about you, well, you and me Yeah, I'll mix you in with a little bit of moonlight And stir you up and sip on you all night A little southern comfort if you know what I mean Well, I don't want no whiskey But I'll take a shot of you Shoot you like a fireball I bet you're a hundred proof I'm getting high just smelling your perfume I don't want no whiskey But I'll take a shot of you I'll take a shot of you Well, yeah, I'll take a shot of you I bet you're smooth You're a little wild in a little JD Fire water and a bottle It's plain to see That's strong enough Strong enough for me Well, I don't want no whiskey But I'll take a shot of you Shoot you like a fireball I bet you're a hundred proof I'm getting high just smelling your perfume I don't want no whiskey I don't need no whiskey I don't want no whiskey But I'll take a shot of you Bet you're feeling ten feet tall And bulletproof Take 
And mute it, and that was dead air. But they heard us on Facebook, <laughs> right? Uh-huh. Right? I was like, <laughs> I failed there it's because I was supposed to part of the you charm. Turn, turn down the radio. Part of, you can't be expected to do everything, though. I mean, I was eating a brownie and looking at my phone. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's part of your job, though. You got to look at your phone and like and keep up eat, with that stuff. Yeah, eat brownies eat yeah. with cheese. That's right, my right, job right. As a co-host. But I was telling Casey though that I I enjoyed the auto tune in there because they didn't overdo it in the song and um, mm-hmm. it was interesting what you said though because you were like trying to kind of get to people a little bit yeah with we that. almost just want to make it like you were trolling them well you want to get <laughs> some, people, <laughs> he was. some people don't know what he they're was. hearing they don't know what that even is you mm-hmm. know so you have to realize that um, going in like some people don't even know what they're hearing they're just like well that's cool because they heard it in a Drake song mm-hmm. you know yeah. but the folks that do um a lot of a lot of country artists nowadays. And I'm not knocking on anybody um, in particular, but a lot of country artists are heavily tuning all of their songs because they're either too lazy or they can't sing one of the two. I don't know what it is, mm-hmm. um, but that was obviously super intentional to catch the ear of the listener. Whether it was, oh, that was a cool or. Damn, I hate when people do that. So people annoying, really you know? hate on the auto tune, but like I love and it. I love that. Like, I love auto. And that song it made sense to me. So I was like, I don't. You know what? I don't. I was told no auto tune by my team at the time. It was a very small team, but everyone was like, No, don't right. do it. That's stupid. You did it anyway, though. No key change, and I'm yeah. like, Okay, both things are happening. <laughs> 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 don't care. You say it's happening, it's, right? What do I have to lose? I'm just you gotta go with your gut, you know? bro. Yeah. So, yeah. As long as you have fun, man. As long as you have fun. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. So, um, you coach your son's T ball, right? And he's five years old. He's a good looking kid. Thank you. Yeah. We had a conversation earlier. (laughs) Yeah. 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 So, how important uh, in your life is he? Uh, Most important outside of of God Himself. uh, My son comes first. Right. How important is your faith? My faith? Yeah. Extremely. I I think you're nothing without it. I think you're you're just existing. Yeah. How's love life going? Good. Yeah. Good. Good. Uh, crazy, like anybody else's. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> anybody else's. Is do, you, do you ever have time just to hang out? Uh, man, you know what? Tonight uh, we're having a cookout at my place, mm-hmm. and uh, I don't get a whole lot of time to do it. Um, but in the month of April, being the bulk of my son's t-ball season, um, I haven't been on the road but once or twice for a day or two. Mm-hmm. So. April's been kind of nice because I just got a house. We're working on all that stuff and T-ball. And uh, I'm still doing shows here in town, you know, downtown. Um, But outside of that, man, I've been in the studio and doing your day-to-day stuff, your paperwork, your emails, phone call. You get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, you manage yourself. So, I mean, you've got all that other – You've got to be creative and you've got to take care of the other stuff too. I mean, do you, right. do you enjoy doing the management management part? Do you, do you like that part of it or do you just have to make yourself do it? You know, it's a loaded question um, because I, I would enjoy it more if I were just <clears throat> manager of Casey Allen, the brand. Mm-hmm. But when you're the artist and you're managing yourself. Mm, okay. Thankfully, I have, a, co- I, I, I have a, a handful of folks that work on my management team with me um, that are able to do things that I suck at, like graphic design or just or just cre- the creative department. There's certain things where, um, you know, I write the song, but, um, you know, to put an, uh, an album art together, it's not easy. Picking right. the right picture, picking the right graphics, picking... Um, even picking the right songs, like, hey, we only get seven. Here's a list of 500 I've written. Let's pick seven. Mm-hmm. That's not easy to do. So I couldn't imagine how difficult that is because, I mean, so out of the 500, you probably love at least 100 of them. 
Yeah, I mean, right? you know what? The, I, the, what I've found is the, the, the veterans in the writing game that I've surrounded myself with, um, one in particularly that stands out in my mind, told me four years ago when I wrote my first song, and then I wrote 10, and then wrote 20, and I'm like, oh, man, I've got, out of 20 songs, i got at least 15 number ones in there. Then you write 50, and all of a sudden you've got, 12 number ones and then you write a hundred and you get, you think you've got four number ones mm-hmm. and you got 200 songs. You're like, man, I only got about three. You start getting harder on yourself. You start critiquing everything. And now yeah. I think I've, uh, I'm shy of 500 songs. Um, probably right around 400, I guess. Um, but now I'm like, man, I probably only have 40 that I think that are, if I'm being, you know, cause I'm very hard on myself. If I'm sure. being real. I sure. About 40 that I'm like, hey, man. Yeah, and you change a lot, too, as a person. So, mm-hmm. I mean, you go back and you hear things and you see things that you did five or six years ago. <laughs> a lot of times it sucks, sure. you know, because at the time it seemed great. But now right. it's just like, yeah. And the world changes, too. Yeah. You know, everything yeah. that's going on in the world and radio mm-hmm. changes. And, and, and some of the things you talked about five years ago are, are irrelevant now. Yep. Right. Yeah. 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 I mean. So what you do you can't. do? You just got to change all the time, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm sitting here laughing because of how you said that. It just reminded me of when I first started YouTube. And I thought I was the greatest thing in the world at like Oh, I don't know. I would never old. say that. Yeah. So and you invented it? <laughs> no. It sounded like that. When I started YouTube. When I started, when I started, when I started YouTube. When I started a YouTube channel. I was like on my freaking iPad or iPod. Uh, it was an iPod. And I was making all these really stupid videos. And I thought they were so great. And then I looked back at them the other day. And I was so embarrassed. I was like, I hope the public never sees this. You know, with me, it's funny. Because I, I go back and I listen to, to shows and... You know, we don't edit anything. You know, we we do the show; it goes out, oh, and we don't. We, well, you know, maybe the live editing, right? But uh, but I don't edit anything, and 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 I think part of the charm is just like when we mess up or when we screw up something, sure. you know. And I think that that's fun for the listeners. So I've I've kind of come to embrace, I guess, the imperfections and things like that. But sure. but I guess when you put out a song, though, you can't do that. I mean, it's different. Yeah, it's there forever. Are you ever a hundred percent happy with any song? Yes, I will. Real? Say, Are yeah, you really? I yes, yeah, I am because, um, you know, not always in hindsight, mm-hmm. but I don't put anything out unless I'm I'm a hundred percent excited gotcha. about it. Gotcha. Okay. Um, that being said, in hindsight, um, there have been songs not that I dislike or I regret, um, but we all in hindsight would do things differently. Sure. Had we had the opportunity to go back, there are songs that I'm like. But in the time, it made sense because the world changed. You know, like like you said, you change, the world changes. And when you're an independent artist and you're funding these things or you have a team that's collectively funding these projects, once they're cut, you either leave them in your Dropbox file or you give them to the world. Mm -hmm. And I'm one of those guys, I'm like, what's all right? The money's been spent. We might as well just put it out there. So now we're in a a process where we've taken time to say, okay, what's Casey in five years going to say about these songs? So this is the next project. People are going to hear that thought process that, um, I guess that, that just that whole realness, you know what yeah, I mean? I was say, that makes real. Sense. Yeah. It's going to be real. Like my last project. Yes. Were they all true stories? Yes. Did all of those things actually happen? Whether it was just a girl walking to a bar, I thought she was hot, and I hit on. Yes, they all happened, but the next record, um, it's going to be a lot different in the sense. It's of, going to be more like your mind. Yeah, I think. yeah, it's going to be um, more life. You okay, know, cool. like I like why that. I am the way I am. The I picture you walking into bars and girls hitting on you. No, it's I mean, that's you. just what you I stopped it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. I like to embarrass him. It's I fun. know you do. It's fun I'm to be embarrassed awkward. for you. Why? Do you, why are you embarrassed for me? I don't because understand. I like to pick on you. I don't understand. <laughs> oh, somebody has a question. Um, it's Jillian Hughes. She says, "I have a question for Casey. What has been your top three favorite performances so far?" Top three favorite performances. Top three favorite performances. Um, one would be in my my music festival we pulled off in 24 days notice last year. It's a big um, accomplishment. Yeah. It was crazy. I mean, there was 
maybe 600 and some people there. Yeah. Um, which isn't a lot, but is a lot. It's almost as many as that come to the Wabo Awards. Almost. <laughs> almost. Right, right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that would be up there just because it was my hometown. My hometown's struggling a lot. And it's really cool to bring something into the town sure. that people can look forward to. And there's no fighting, no ignorance. It's just mm -hmm. let's be happy and forget about our problems for a few hours, you know. Um, so that, um, it's funny, Jillian is asking. Uh, Jillian's one of my faves. Um, another one would be a show that she actually flew across the country to be at. Oh, snap. I was on the road with Jake Owen. And... Jilly, it was a huge, it was the ACM Festival of the Year, Country Thunder in um, Wisconsin. No, Arizona. <laughs> uh, Arizona. Um, Florence. Florence, Arizona. And it was like the, the biggest stage, I think the biggest stage I've ever been on. And anybody out there that's ever been on a show of mine knows that I use every square inch and millimeter yeah, of the stage. Yeah. Um, so it was pretty awesome. It, uh, How intoxicating is that? When you get out on a stage and there's like just people screaming, you can't even hear yourself sing. I mean, how? It's not even just the, obviously the people, are, it, that's the icing on the cake. But yeah. everything that goes into it, every person behind the scenes, every, it's mind-blowing how loud a stage like that is because the power that has to come from a stage not only that big but to 55,000 people has to be pretty big so when you're on the stage and it's shaking you know what I'm saying like, yeah yeah it's pounding through your chest I guess maybe I know what you're saying I don't know I have to live through you sometimes well, yeah next time I get to do a, a festival let me just day, walk out there with you yeah me. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna sing a song I'll me. stand there and lip sync Okay, They'll never don't, know. Don't, don't, no, you're you should sing it. You're singing. You should. Okay, okay, we'll talk about it. <laughs> It'll be funny. It'll be funny. Okay, okay. So, so that's. Have any of your fans ever got like a tattoo, like one of your songs? Actually, yeah, I just got one the other day. See, this is the Dude, second this artist. Is great. Yeah. Okay. So actually, it's happened quite a few times. Um, uh, let's see. What was the first one I ever saw? So the first thing that people started doing, does it blow your mind a little bit? Oh was gosh, it kind of so, like weird you out so a little I just bit? Got another one this yeah. week. It's a really good tattoo. I'll show it to you when I yeah. can turn off the live. Yeah. But, okay. Um, I'm, I actually I was actually getting ready to post it because it's a really good tattoo. Um, a guy that did one of my tattoos did it. It was to a gal back in my hometown. But a, like a common thing, I, I hate to say common because it makes me sound arrogant. But a common thing with people who Decided to get my name tattooed on which is not. Well, I haven't shown you mine yet, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know <what> I'm <laughs> yeah. Um, they started getting a CA, like my logo. Right. And then my song Promise, which was my first song I wrote about my son, uh -huh. came out. And people started getting that, like, a lot. Like, I'm not talking about thousands, but a lot. Right. You know what sure. I mean? Mm -hmm. A lot more than I ever thought I would see tattooed. I think uh, one person getting it would be a lot, I oh, would gosh, think. Oh, gosh, it was crazy. So, yeah. I was at a festival one night, and this girl hands me a Sharpie, and we're in a meet and greet line. So I'm thinking, you know, nothing to it. And it, I was out on the road with Jake Owen. He's getting ready to go on stage. She's in my meet and greet line. I don't know why, but she comes up with a marker, and I'm, like, looking, like, okay, no, no picture, no koozie, no hat. And she pulls her shirt up, not all the way, but just mm -hmm. pulls her shirt up and asks me if I'd sign like her groin, right? I'm like, uh, are you married? <laughs> <laughs> so, like, so I take the Sharpie and I'm like, all right. Do you ever get go. used to that? That? Yeah. I don't sign a lot of groins. Sure. Um, <laughs> Can we use that clip? <laughs> but yeah, I mean. <laughs> yeah, that's going to show up. That's going to show up like uh, in the future. Yeah, groins? yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But so she came back. She came back the next day, right? Mm -hmm. The next day, I was off. And she's like, are you going to be here tomorrow? And the next day, it was Eric Church. Oh, we got to take off. So I let my whole crew have a day off. And we all stayed and watched Eric Church and Thomas Rhett. And she comes back. Sure enough, she went and got that thing tattooed. Oh, my gosh. On her groin. I'm like, you're never <laughs> oh going to be gosh. married. No one's ever going to date you. <laughs> Is that what you told her? <laughs> no, no, no. I told her that. I told her she was crazy because that's kind of crazy. Yeah. But it was flattering because yeah, that's permanent. 
Sure. I just right. got one this this week. A really good. I'll show it to you when we're done here. Of uh, my latest single, No Name Town, and she sent me this message, and I'm like, and the lady's married with 80, awesome. 80, okay. eighty-seven thousand kids. <laughs> you know, she's got a lot of kids. I think mm-hmm. I think like four. It's close, right? Close enough. Close yeah. enough. Um, she sends me this super sweet message about how it's not just the song, but how me and my music have helped change her life in a good way and how thankful she was that I give I'm like that is every like that's special the that tattoo special. alone like is one thing and then to send that message behind it like I'm no like thank you mm-hmm. you are now a walking billboard mm-hmm. for my career but then to send a message to me thank you sure. me I'm, I was like wow I got I don't you know I don't you know you gotta love your fans words. man, yeah, man. you gotta love your fans that's that's just cool that's cool. Let's play another song. Let's oh, Randy's in the chat. He says that Casey Allen's a great guy. Hey, Randy. Now, Randy is actually uh, Magnolia Emporium. Mm-hmm. And uh, Randy is, we're going to get to see him at CMA Fest I'm this so year. Excited. So we can talk about Magnolia Emporium and we can talk about CMA Fest at the same time. Mm-hmm. So, so Randy is actually, okay, I'm going to screw all this up, I know. But he's like this design guy. And he like makes people like look cool. Now, I don't know if he can make me look cool or not. He's got a lot of work on his hands I know, I know. (laughs) I don't know if he can make me look cool, but I know he's made, like, a lot of people, like, you know, look cool. Look cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he just knows what he's doing. He really does. He's a professional. Yeah, he is. How long has he been doing that? How long has Randy? As long as I've known him and before that. How long have you been doing that, Randy? And before that. I mean, he's, (laughs) like, yeah. He's, like, the real deal. His whole life, I guess, yeah. But he was modeling design. and doing all kinds of stuff before that, too. Yeah. He could make you look cool. But he's cool. a good-looking guy, too. He, he could just, make you look cooler me. than you look now. Like, you look really cool now, but you, he could make you look... Yeah, you know. I don't know. It's it, I would be a lot of work. I mean, I would be a great, like, advertisement for Randy if he could, like, do that, though. <laughs> Dude, you know? On, <laughs> <laughs> what? 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 Yeah. Give what? yourself some credit, bro. right? I, I I give myself a lot more credit than I used to. I mean, I I play a lot, but I'm really really super proud of myself. I really, really I know. Am. I can tell. Yeah. I can tell yeah. just in your mannerisms, your Facebook, yeah. everything. Yeah, I'm like wow. Like, yeah, my pick because you know I I joke a lot, but I'm a boss. I really yes, am because it's, it's not it's not easy to do is. what I've done. You know, yeah, for sure. You lose 120 you know, Yeah, yeah. But like, I, you know, for, for the first time, I think probably, and I was going to talk about Magnolia and Porham and CMA Fest, but I won't talk about me for a second. <laughs> but <laughs> for, uh, for the first time in like most of my adult life, you know, I'm, I'm happy with the way I look. I'm confident, you know, and I feel good. And I mean, it's, uh, thank you. He's hitting on me. I'm yeah. hitting on him. He's hitting on me. So it's Magnolia Emporium. I know. He said, he said, you're wearing a fedora now. You do look cool. That's true. Designed in general for about That's 30 true. years. He did. Randy helped me with that, actually. He's like, really? I, I texted him one. I was like, Randy, man, I, I got to like get some style going. Right. I don't know because every shirt <laughs> I have, that. every I shirt I have in the closet, it's like a four X. It's gray. It's every shirt I got. I mean, help me. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> so, dude, that's incredible. Yeah, though. like that's yeah. You just cut them in half and make new shirts. Out. Dude, dude, like, it's, it's nuts. It's nuts. That's incredible. Though, it's freaking like, crazy. Yeah, yeah, that's incredible. Okay, that's anyway, cool. anyway, so CMA Fest this year, we've got <laughs> four days lined up: the sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth. And we're going to do interviews the first three days from like 11 a.m. until 6 or 7 or what. I don't know. They're going to whenever, however long they go. (laughs) However. Um, But we'll be taking pictures. Anybody's welcome to stop by and sit in on the interviews and watch. I know Casey asked me about it, so I'm sure his entourage is going to come and like hang out and get some pictures with Casey and and all that stuff. And we'll photobomb the pictures for sure. Yes, that's cool. Yeah. I mean, if. Where's it going to be? It's at the hotel. It's at the Commodore Grill. Yeah, at the Holiday Inn Vanderbilt. Holiday Inn, uh-huh. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where we yeah. were last year, right? Or the year before? Yeah, for yeah, yeah. For, yeah mm-hmm. Right. 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 And so I like can, that. I like that. that lobby. Yeah, that'd be, yeah. That'd be fun. Oh, it's yes. gonna be. It's gonna be fun. Let's yeah. That place. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So I we like got that. we got the interviews the first three days, and on the fourth day, the final day, we've got the big red carpet event, the WAB Awards. And I just announced this, too, but we've not only got the online voting. I'm not going to tell Casey how good he's doing because it'll go to his head. But right. we've got the online voting going on right now. And um, at the actual event, we're going to have a friendly competition as well. Uh, with, yeah. With judges. And uh, Randy's actually going to be a judge uh, for the competition. And I've got two more judges I haven't announced yet. Can so. I be a judge? No, I've already got them picked out. <laughs> 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 Maybe next Can we year. Can we use that clip too? <laughs> Maybe no. next year. Can I be a judge? No, Casey. No, Come on, man. You're, come on. In the competition. you're in the competition. You're doing okay. You're doing okay. Judge yourself. <laughs> but come out and see it's us. Hang out with us. Get some red carpet pictures with us. It'll be it'll be a good time. 
It'll be fun. Yeah, yeah. Was that good? Did I do okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because we, we we forgot to play the promo. We always forget to play. Wow, stuff. we we are like throwing yeah. the ball down okay, or whatever, I know, I know. dropping the ball. <laughs> okay, so this next song we're going to play. If you if you just tuned in, we're listening. We're talking to Casey Allen today, who's losing his voice because of T ball and because of singing and just Allergies. his crazy musician lifestyle. Yeah, is is what it is. All the nights out and all the parties Partying. and yeah, yes. tattoos. Yeah, just things that musicians do but, <laughs> but what um okay Thank so you. so i promise you said you you wrote this about your son yeah okay so tell me about this song i obviously i know where the inspiration came from but sure but tell me about it um so to make a long short of it it was one of the first songs i ever wrote uh when i moved to nashville i i didn't really have a passion for writing i wanted to just cut songs and be an artist and focus on that and that only um and then i realized shortly after that the best songs aren't being pitched to the guy from Coshocton, Ohio, that just got to Nashville 200 days ago. So um, Jace was obviously an inspiration. It was the first year I lived in Nashville. He was born that year, um, seven months after moving here. And, um, you know, I started humming just the melody of the chorus to him the day he was born. And it was a compilation of that. And a bunch of promises I started making him. Like, I promise I'll do this. I'll never do this. I'll always do this. And I thought, man, that, that'd, make, that'd make a song. Whether people like it or not, it'd make a song. So we put it out just uh, literally. We sat in a room like this with a guitar, um, a mandolin, and a mic. That's it. And we do a stripped-down version of this. We put it out on Father's Day a few years ago. People loved it. So the next year, I wanted to do a music video. And somebody from my team had mentioned, what if we just did something like, you know, what if we just followed you around with a camera like have a, like a day in your life? And I'm like, and I said, what if we just take real, like actual genuine footage of my life, whether it be pictures or Snapchat videos that I've saved to post on Instagram too. Let's let's just edit that. Like, how much more real does it get than like mm -hmm. hey, right? yeah. Snapchats from the last three years? Like, how mm -hmm. much more real? And it did really well with the video. You know, the the beginning of the video. If you've never seen it, it's just before the music even starts. It's just I don't know if you've seen the video. No, but I've it seen it. It's been a while. It's been a minute. Yeah. Uh -huh. He starts you know, yelling, yeah. "Daddy, that oh, it just rips a heart out." Um, but oddly enough, this song is the reason that in this next project that I've decided to go with more of a, I'm not saying I'm going to take out the personality, the fun side and the party side, but I want to start moving closer to, Hey, what's going to stick around 10 years from now, rather than, yeah, that song, that wow song was pretty cool, but no one's going to know what the hell that was in five years. Mm hmm. But it's the only promise if you're a fan of mine, hopefully a decade from now you listen to that or and you know, for those that become fans of mine or just music in general, mm -hmm. hopefully ten years from now, this next project, people are still listening to it. I pre ordered it. Before it ever came out, nice. I pre ordered it. I was like, It's Casey Allen, it's I gotta boss. get it. Dude, man. Yeah. Julian Hughes is saying that she's gonna go to the tattoo parlor right now because she needs to step up her game. J Jillian. Hey, Jillian, you need to get like get our logo uh, like on your back too, or right, something. Go ahead. Like, yeah, clear that with your yeah. husband first, because Casey <laughs> on your body. <laughs> oh, um, right, love, right. Oh, I'll he'll be cool with wedding. it. I Let just, him get the logo. That's fine. Yeah, he'll get. It. Yeah. <laughs> I, he can do it with you. <laughs> right. Yeah. I yeah. just played their wedding. Oh, incredible, did you? Oh, yeah, incredible people. That's great, dude. That's cool. Incredible people. That's really cool. You, oh, we didn't. He didn't play our wedding. He was there. Oh, yeah. I, I, sad. Wait a minute. I did play at your wedding before you did. You got yeah, married. yeah, you did. You did. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, that's true. So technically, he did. Yes, yeah, so I played See, your wedding. Everybody thought I was really romantic, but really, I just had like free entertainment and like free venue and all that stuff. It was just I was just smart, dude. It was epic. <laughs> no, no, it was cool. It really was. <laughs> what? What? No, I freaked out. Everybody was like, "What if she says no?" And I said, "Well, she says no, it's gonna be like good radio, right?" <laughs> oh. So. Okay, so we're going to play it. Uh, I promise Casey Allen right here on the Chris Top Program. Cats in the cradle and a silver spoon 
Little boy blue and the man on the moon Never really hit me till I met you Yeah, that's my job, there goes my life And forever young brings tears to my eyes Now I know what they mean about love at first sight I promise, I swear I'll be with you everywhere Right by your side in my heart and my mind When you need me, I'll be there I promise, I promise, I promise Your first touchdown, your first pitch Your first day point up on the ridge First time you put that car in a ditch I'll be there Yeah, when she breaks your heart Or you're having a bad day Just know I'm a phone call away Even if it's just to say I love you I promise, I swear I'll be with you everywhere Right by your side In my heart and my mind When you need me I'll be there I promise I promise I promise Well I can't promise perfect But I'll tell you what I'll do It's promise that I'll never, ever, ever Break my promise to you Promise, buddy. Oh, and I unmuted my mic that time. That's good. Is everything on? Okay. Everything's good. good I job, think. Chris. I think we're good. We sound so professional. But that's uh, Casey Allen. I promise on the Chris Top program. Uh, now, I really like that song. Okay, so you know it's a beautiful song, and and if I wanted to get a copy of that, all I would have to do is go to YouTube, uh, pull up my little mixer that I got and I could just record it and I could just put it right on my, my player and I would have it. I wouldn't have to pay a dime for Are it. Are you for real, bro? What? Bro. What? That's gross. But I could do like, it though. It's not a problem. Just because you can do something, like yep. we, we've talked about this on before, it doesn't mean you should or oh. that it's like morally right. You can go out and like kill somebody, but you shouldn't, sure. right? That's Cause true. Because it's wrong That's a good and point. you'll go to prison. Yep. And nothing good happens in prison. Okay. So um, you're stealing from the artist. Oh. Like you're taking their dream and just eating it. Okay. You dream eater. <laughs> oh, uh, man. I feel so bad now. You're a dream eater. Lots of calories. Yep. Right? Okay. And uh, they get nothing in return and can't pump out more of their dreams because you're freaking eating them all. Okay. You glutton. Now, okay. Now listen, y'all. If I catch you stealing the music instead of buying it and helping these independent artists out because they're not getting paid to do this, you're the one that's paying them. So freaking buy the song, bro, or I will hunt you down. It's just amazing. <laughs> it's just amazing. That was that was that was intense. That's dope. I think she'll actually hunt you down. Right, I, she will. I really will. I've seen her do I'll it. Find you. I've seen her do it, yeah. Uh, but it's true, though. You just skip Starbucks for one day. You can actually go out and buy a whole EP. It's not mm-hmm. that big of a deal. Make your own coffee. It, go buy it an costs, it costs less. Don't skip Starbucks. Yeah. It costs yeah. less than, than a, a video game on your phone, like yeah. on a real. Yeah. 
Dude. Did you see the meme I posted today? Uh, the one where you like meme yeah, it. Let like, me pull it up so I can define like, meme. Get it? Well, it's a, it's like our picture, and then I. I put, <laughs> so you're saying we're. A it's meme. not really a meme though. It's just <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's a quote. It's a quote that I where I said something. I just want to I want to pull it up. Because I thought it was kind of funny, but there, I, I was thinking about what the word you, for that was you, today, you and post, I got it, but I forget now. Yeah, you post things and you think they're funny, but it's it's a quote, and it says it's a pretty special thing when a song is born. Keep buying music so indie artists will continue getting knocked up, right? That's funny. It, is it funny? Is it funny, or is that like a courtesy smile? That's no, that's funny. Okay, good, good, that's good. That's funny because I wasn't sure. No, if it wasn't funny, uh, I would tell you that's not funny. It'd be like Chris, that's dude, that sucks. That sucks. Just that sucks. delete it. Yeah. It, <laughs> took me, it took me a while to get it, but then once I did get it, I was like, "Yeah, this is funny." Okay, good, good, good. Because I'm I'm proud of it now. But, you should be. <laughs> thanks. So, what's what's the easiest way, or or what do you prefer? Uh, what route do you prefer people take to get your music? I mean, I know a lot of artists that I talk to are like. You know, stream it on Spotify, listen to me on Spotify. A lot of them are like iTunes, buy it on iTunes. Like, what, what's best for you? Man, honestly, obviously, um, we make the most money off of a purchase at iTunes. Okay. I think majority of people probably know that. For those that don't, there you go. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Honestly, though, man, I am, uh, the majority, my living comes from my shows. Right. Like, it really does. Um, the music is obviously helpful. Downloads, streams, it's all helpful. But, you know, um, as you also know, I've seen you post about it. Um, there, you know, there are a lot of companies. I'm not going to single any company out that pay us nothing. They pay sure. us. Sure, I'll hunt them down. Trump. Spotify, <laughs> yeah, right. I'm not going to say anything, right? Um, but that being said, in the same breath, um, I'm not totally a rebel. You know, I hear people say, "Oh, this is BS." They're listening to music for free or for. 10 cents and the artist is getting paid nothing and blah, 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 blah. And I agree to an extent. And when you're Garth Brooks, you can say those kind of things because you can take your stuff anywhere and people are going to follow you. But when you're an up and coming guy, in 1980, there wasn't YouTube. There wasn't Spotify. You had to get your ass out there on the road and post up flyers. So I think it's um, not to call anybody ignorant, but I think it's silly because um, I, I hear a lot of people say, that's stupid. I'm, I'm boycotting Spotify. I'm boycotting Pandora. Well, okay, good luck making it because how many fans do you make in a day that have never heard you and they're out in Tokyo, they hear a song and they love it and now you have a fan in Tokyo, you've never been there. You know what? I'll give them the damn song before I, you know what I mean? Like to me, sure. that's... To it's me, like the first world problems with a. To me, it's so important that people just listen to what I'm doing yeah. and pay attention. So I don't care if they're on YouTube just watching the video and I get paid three cents. Yeah. Or they're on iTunes and buy it for the album for six dollars and I get paid five. Whatever. Like you know, to me, it's just please listen because essentially, eventually, the goal is you come out to the show and you buy a ticket and you have a good time and you buy mm -hmm. a beer and you buy a t-shirt. <laughs> You know, yeah, yeah. I think even Garth Brooks would agree with that. Sure, you know, sure. Okay, I'm going to ask you a question, and I'm going to give you the most common answer that I get after you tell me what what you think. But as as far as being an independent artist, like, what do you find is your biggest challenge? Biggest challenge? Yeah, hours in a day, hands down. Okay, uh, so like, what all do you have to get do, done in a day? Because I know you you manage get yourself. Do. Get you said what get all? Do. I sound like a caveman, don't I? Get do. Yeah. So, like, walk me through like a typical day for Casey. Um, a typical day. Um, I guess the beautiful thing about what I do is there isn't. No, there no two days are the same. And, yeah, that's a yeah, that's a silly question. Things. Yeah, yeah, because like, yeah, yeah. The one thing I try to stay consistent with, outside of when I'm apart from my son, is every morning. Um, I share my first cup of coffee with my son and You give God. your five year old coffee? Yeah, he's way too no, young. No, no, That's no, great. No. He's way too young for coffee. I drink the coffee. Oh, okay. <laughs> I drink the coffee. But I have my first cup of coffee with my son and God every day. We read um, part of my Bible and part of his Bible. Oh, that's so and cool. We discuss it. And then we start right now we're homeschooling. Um, I was homeschooled. He's in pre-K. So he'll go to uh, a school in Mount Juliet, just on the outskirts of Nashville, mm -hmm. uh, where we just moved to once kindergarten rolls around. Um, but right now, 
homeschooling, homeschooling, we get that started. And then I either, I'm on the phone, email, social media, writing a song, recording a song. It all starts after that. Booking, yeah. working out. Yeah. Um, it just doesn't. How many hours a day do you work out? Because you always look like fit. You Stop. always look good. I Dude. mean, you do. No, man. That's uh, true. I work out. Um, it's like got that Captain minutes. America look. No, man. Seriously, 30 to 45 minutes yeah. a day. Yeah. Uh, and that's it. I just hit cardio and that's it. I don't live. Do you really watch what you eat or do you have to? <clears throat> um, yeah, I have to. Like, so my metabolism isn't what it used to be. I'm finding. Oh, yeah. So tell me I, about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You get it. I mean, so I will watch what I eat and then I'll like, like, okay, tacos sound great. Okay. Ice cream does too. Yeah. <laughs> and then once I notice it starts catching up to me, I see photos on Instagram. Like, oh, easy there, chunky. Yeah, you know, <laughs> time to get back. Yeah. So like, I, I grab myself because I love food, man. I love sure. food way too much to just not eat it. Like, mm -hmm. like I'm not going to cut out Mexican the rest of my life. Right. If I lose a year or two of my life from Mexican, so be it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, man. Like that's what I try, and I do as many days as I can. You know, like some days, if. I've got a million things going on at home. I got to coach a ball game, be on stage. I want to get my workout in that. Sure. Like yesterday, like, oops, didn't get it done. But mm -hmm. I've been working out in the driveway all day, coaching a t-ball game in that show. Yeah. You're just a busy out. guy. Yeah. Busy guy. So the next yeah. day it's like, okay, I got to get 30 minutes in and I do mm -hmm. some kind of cardio. Yeah. The Casey Allen workout plan. Right. Yeah, you you could do workout videos. You could. You Nick could Ultra. make a whole DVD. Nick Ultra. <laughs> <laughs> Switch from that course light to the Nick Ultra. Uh, but the, the biggest challenge I th I think comes up a lot in in my conversations with artists is just um, them trying to get their music out to new people. Um, you know, it's a it's a big thing. I mean, how do you do it as an independent artist? Like, Gotta what's work, the, what's man. the trick? There is, is there a trick? trick? It's not. It's like any other business, man. It's like yeah. what you're doing. It's like yeah. uh, it's like starting a lawn company. Mm -hmm. great you've got a mower you've got a weed eater you've got a power washer what the hell are you going to do without it or with it without clients sure what are you going to do so you start knocking on doors you start putting out ads you start beating up the pavement and people ask me in every interview and in every meet and greet and I say that acting like I'm somebody cool but I'm not he is cool. what I'm saying is Every time I'm asked the question, because in this line of work, we talk to people, all, you, me, with you, we, we mm. just talk to people constantly. And a question that's commonly asked is, man, it's got to be, even my neighbors, like, man, isn't that a tough industry to be in? Blah, 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 blah. It's so tough. It's so hard. It's so, everyone wants to make it. A hundred and something people move to Nashville a day. No, it's like anything else. You beat the odds. You go out there and you get it done. If you, if you suck, They'll tell you. The people will tell you. You'll you find suck. out real quick. you find out really fast. Yeah. If you got something, you better work. You'd have been back in Ohio real quick. Yeah. Had I you mean, sucked. Most yeah. people are, what is it, 90, 95%? I'm of, surprised if it's that low. Yeah. I, no, no, I think 95 is. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. 95% of people move home within two years. Yeah, I'm surprised it's not like 98 or 99. Yeah. You might be right. Yeah. Yeah. I just, I just Dang, assume. no, that's sad. That's a lot of people quitting. Most people quitting. have to go home within two yeah. years. and. That's the truth. So, it doesn't seem like that because we associate with a lot of people that have been around for a while, but we don't see all the people that come and stay for three months and are like, I can't do this. No. Like, you know how many friends I've met where I'm like, just, I become buddies with them and having fires and hanging out. And then all of a sudden, hey man, I got to go. I'm like, right, everything okay back home? Yeah, man, everything's good back home. That's why I'm going back there. I'm right. Like, wow. Right. They're like, done. It's yeah. so That's sad. fast. The turnaround so fast. So like, I only have a couple of friends that was that were here when I was here when I got here in 2013. They're still that here. are still here, you know. Yeah. And the the funny thing is that they called it they called it a 10 year town, you know. It takes 10 years to to really 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 break. Yeah. Like people are struggling to live here for two years. I sure. Mean, the cost mm -hmm. of living is. Astronomical. I mean, you make it a Nashville a year. I mean, even if you're flipping burgers and singing every other them. night, you know, I, I feel like you're a success if you make it that long. Sure. That's what I tell people. You know yeah. what? Like, I, I, when I moved here, I never said I wanted to be a celebrity. I didn't say, I'm going to be the next Luke Bryan. I'm, I showed up and I said this. The one thing that has stayed the same is I've always said, 
I am, and I always will be, Casey Allen from Coshocton, Ohio. And I'm going to make an honest, comfortable living for me and my family. And I don't care how big that means it's got to get or how small it becomes. I'm going to make a hard, honest living. And that's what I've done. Yeah, that's what you're doing every day. That's what I've done every, yeah. every year. That's yeah. what I've done. That's why I love you, man. I freaking love you to death. Love you I too, really, man. really do. He's one of the few men that I say, I love you. And I look him in the eyes when I say it. I don't look away like I do with the other guys. He did. That was, that yeah. was intense. I saw yeah. the fire in his eyes. Like, yeah, I, I was like, Oh, Chris. <laughs> 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 okay. 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 So we got one more song because uh, we, we actually are, have already went 10 minutes over, but we're going to play another song. Wah, we're going to ask Casey about it. And You're then fired, we'll. we'll fl- yeah, I don't fire me yet. Uh, but we're going to play uh, No Name Town. And this is really a catchy tune. And this is um, one that, when did this come out? Last year? It came out. August. In August yep. of last year. Okay. Yep. And this is kind of what you're basing your festival around that you're doing. Yeah. I, I named Am I right festival. with that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. The, festival, like, the song is a description of where I come from. Okay. Um, and a lot of people feel that way about their hometown. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, my hometown, like, you you know, you didn't have roller coaster rides. You didn't have, you had the fair and that's it. That's now, it. <laughs> okay, let me ask you this. Like, when, when you were growing up, were you one of those people that were like, I can't wait to get out of this town? And then when you do, do you look back and think, man, I miss it? Um, yes and no. There's parts of my life where I, I said I was going to stay there forever and start my own thing, and it was going to be super successful. Uh, I, I used to coach wrestling there, and I thought, man, I'm going to do this and something else. Uh, I thought about just the car business. I, I loved car. the car. I, I don't like cars, personally, but I was really good at selling them. So mm-hmm. I, you know, I, I sold cars for a short time before I started singing, and um, but I always said, um, you know, I'm not too good for this town, but I have a greater calling. That's, it, I don't know what it is, but I'm going to have to leave in order for it to happen. Mm-hmm. And just having music and. I don't hear of anybody blowing up in Kashok and a lot. All right, not yet. You're not going to break in Kashok. <laughs> so, um, yeah, man, it was. It, it's like this song is not only a description of my hometown, um, but I based my festival off of it because so many towns out there are unrecognized. But you know, if I wrote down the word Kashokton right now, there's and I didn't tell you how to pronounce it. You're not saying it right. No. So a lot of you will. We're taken back at first, like, why do you call it a no-name town? You're not proud where you're from. I'm like, <laughs> well, if you listen to about another 20 seconds, you, you hear where I right. say I'm They'll damn proud it. Yeah, yeah. to mm-hmm. be from my uh, one horse. You know, yeah. so I feel like there's a lot of no-name towns out there that sure. can relate to it, and that was my goal. How excited are you about this festival, dude? Dude, dude um, I'll be more excited um, when, like, I'm, I'm walking on stage and know that it's everything real. went smooth. Yeah, because you feel that bass in your chest, and all those people are screaming. Because I, I, I own the festival. Yeah, and me and a few other people work it every day. Like, there's so many things you have to do behind the scenes. Just I'm getting sure. artists. Sure. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure. Up the card. We're doing two stages this year. We're doing a main stage with bands, and then we're doing a side stage acoustic. And just that is. And how many acts do you have all together? Do you know? So far, we've got. Uh, we'll have three on the side stage. And a contest winner. And then I think we're going to have four on the main stage. And then a contest winner. So mm-hmm. we'll end up having nine acts. Mm-hmm. You know, and that's tough to... And this is a one-day event? Yeah, or one day. Okay, gonna, okay. Eventually, eventually, we'd like to get it to a two-day where you camp and it becomes a big old... Okay, and, and can okay. people just show up or do they have to have tickets ahead of time? You can get tickets at eventbrite.com right now. Or you can purchase your tickets at the gate, a VIP... They're limited. They'll be sold out before the day gets here. Um, but general admission will be available the day of. And, okay. Um, yeah, man. Okay. So fun. now, now when this when this event blows up and and gets like, because I've already I've already secured my backstage passes with you. Done. So we, we talked Forever. about that years ago. Forever. So I'm I'm good to go there. Um, but like when this event blows up and you you know you've got like you know giant headliners which you'll be one of them too. But I mean we'll have like VIP like passes for like for the week, right? Done. Uh, okay. So, Done. So, so, so Done. We're good. We're good. We're good. You're we got recorded. Be backstage doing interviews. Yeah. 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 Probably. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> yeah. We got this. We got this, man. I'll be like the Ryan Seacrest of the, the no event. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. So here we go. Uh, this is called. No, let me get it ready. Uh, no name town. Casey Allen on the Chris Dot program. It's a 
dry county Cash only at the pump It's a quarter mile two lane stretch Covered up in dust It's a rust on the tracks With a train that never runs It's a place to spray her name If you go and fall in love It's a don't blank It's a don't look like much It's a speed trap Don't look back But if you're one of us It's blue collared suits And blue jeans and boots It's running from the blue lights When there's nothing else to do It's Friday night It's who kissed who It's the talk of the town It don't matter if it's true From sun up to sundown We work hard We're damn proud from that one horse to lane, no name town. Yeah, it's a beer run, about 20 minutes south. It's a seven acre open field, that's where we threw them down. Yeah, it's a white church with the right amount of pews. We packed the house on Sunday morning. Just to hear the truth We hold hands When we say grace We may pray for different things But we all look the same In blue collared suits In blue jeans and boots It's running from the blue lights When there's nothing else to do It's Friday night It's who kiss who It's the talk of the town It don't matter if it's true From sun up Sundown, we work hard, we're damn proud to be from that one horse to lane, no lane town. Yeah, I miss my hometown when I'm out here. Busy streets, they're always on the go. Hell, I'm just a no name kid from a no name town, and you can bet your ass that I'll be back when they lay me down in a blue collared suit and blue jeans and boots. It's Friday night, it's who kiss who, it's the talk of the Tomorrow's forecast, partly cloudy with a chance of showers later in the afternoon. Okay, I'm just going to stop. Okay, but that's uh, No Name Town, Casey Allen on the Chris Top program. See, that's the third song. That means the show's almost over, and I'm kind of bummed out. And Casey was talking about, like, how we we go a year, year and a half without ever, like, you know, talking to each other, and then we catch up on the radio, Mm -hmm. on the air, and that's that's our conversation. So CMA Fest, that's only like a... Like a little over a month away, so we're not gonna anything to talk about now. We're just gonna listen. What's up, man? Crickets. What's up, man? Just crickets the whole time. Yeah, but no, but that'll be right around the corner from your from your festival. Right um, before. Yeah. Three weeks so, before. Yeah, yeah. So you'll you'll probably be going nuts, I bet. Like planning and getting everything oh, ready for yeah, that. Man, it'll be you probably like, already are. Yeah, yeah. I mean in June it'll get way worse. Like I'll go uh to the festival site at the beginning of that week and it's just like I build mm-hmm. the stage. I, I don't. I don't hire. Like I don't rent. Like some stage. I have a company come in, and we sit down with a blueprint, and I design the stage from the catwalk to the depth, the everything, where the drummer's gonna sit, and I build the stage. And this year, it's gonna be even bigger. I think so, your. I think your phone just died. How did you know? How did you know you were even good at that kind of stuff? The festival thing. Yeah. Like, did, were you like a carpenter before that? I mean, oh, like. No, no, I don't build it. Okay, so no, no, I design it. And okay, you this company. Well, you design it. it. That's still like. How did so you? So how know are you, you sitting here telling everybody you're bad at graphic design when you just design it? 
Well, because the stage Sun's is slightly besides me because I run around. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay. Let's try okay. this. Okay. What about that extension? What about this part? What about okay. these lights? What about, you know, and I go all out, man. It's really, it's really cool. And each year my plan is just to get bigger and bigger. Everything from the stage to the acts to the nice. okay. crowd to... You know, now, are you going to, I guess you're going to have merchandise for sale there and everything. Oh, so yeah. say, what about people that don't come to the festival? If they want to get a Casey Allen t-shirt, how do they get one of those? CaseyAllen.com. CaseyAllen.com. They can go there and find everything. Correct. Oh, everything. I need to hit up that Koozies, website t-shirts, because t-shirts, I'm all about t-shirts. Everything. Shot glasses, I'm, I'm assuming. No. What? Dude, what? Bruh. <laughs> I need to. That's, a, I mean, That's I, like your brand. It is, but I just haven't. I just figured you would have shot glasses. No. Right? Yeah. Need to. Everybody. We need to. We yeah. Need to call their own beer. Yeah. Your own beer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, okay. So, what what's your favorite platform? Like, if if somebody if a fan wants to wants to get a little little quality time with you, like, what's the best way to get in touch with you? Uh, my Facebook page is is really happening. People, you're more old school with Facebook because you like Facebook. It seems like more than the other. I do because I feel as if there's more interaction, more engagement. You, these live videos are different. Like on Instagram, somebody goes live, and it's just at the top little corner, and you have to be on already. Mm-hmm. Facebook Live, if you follow me, you get a notification on your phone, or you can set yeah. it to get a notification right, on your phone. Right, right. That if I do anything, you see it. Mm-hmm. So uh, Facebook's my favorite, um, but I should probably, on, since we're on the air, say Instagram to plug it. To sure. catch it up to Facebook, so Instagram, <laughs> Casey dot Allen. Yeah, well, I, we just started an Instagram back in January, and I think, and I'm going to be real. I think we hit, we're getting like close to 250 followers. So mm-hmm. I mean, it's taken me a little while to kind of get to figure it out. But mm-hmm. I'm, I'm kind of getting a little savvy on Instagram. I think, it's like, fun. I it figure out fun. how to do the, like the audio thing, like I did with you. Yep. Like the interview, that, that's kind of cool. It is. Yeah, you just scroll by there, and you can hear some audio from a show from that was three years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, yeah. I can, I can do that. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's fun. And but but then Instagram also throws it over on Facebook and Twitter and all these other places too. So, which is neat, I guess. But but I'm like you. I still kind of prefer the. I I prefer Facebook. I I just I don't know. I don't know why. Too man, the engagement. Like I always tell people, um, Facebook's how I make my living. Like, and that's as real as it gets. Facebook Mm -hmm. is how I make my living. Yeah, because Facebook's great. I get on there, I do a live video, and it can be something as silly. So, hey guys, what's up? What's, what's I've tuned like? into a few of those. Yeah, and I'm just talking. It's fun. Yeah, conversing with people, and for some reason, they share the heck out of it. They comment. They tag people. They throw because they love you. you. They love you to death, and they and show because you're shows. genuine. Yeah, like, you know. And I'm like, and then we can go spend a few thousand bucks on a really nice video, and cool. It, it was viewed 10,000 times, but my Facebook live video was viewed 18,000 times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But nothing into it. I'm just joking with him. Right. Like, what in the world? So Facebook is, you know, it's awesome. Way to go. You heard it from it's Casey great. Allen right there. Facebook's worth Facebook's that. the way to go. Mm-hmm. But sure. Since we're on the air, follow me on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, after you're done with that, follow me and get a tattoo of our logo as well. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Please. So, did we hit everything? Or did we do okay? I think so. I'm always asking that. Yeah, I just want to make sure because mm-hmm. we got so too much going on. You know what? If if the interview wasn't fun enough for you, at least follow me for this next reason. I've got a project coming out. I can't. I this is the first time I've said it on the air. I cannot say who it is. Um, but I've got a project coming up that we mentioned briefly. Um, during the interview, I'm not going to say what it is. I'm not going to say how soon it's coming out. Um, but one of my all time heroes in the industry is going to be singing on the project with me. I know who it is. Yeah. So do you, yeah. but we can't say anything. Yeah. It's going yeah. to be epic. So Zip please, if you don't, if you don't tune in because the interview was fun, tune in for that. At least jump on the bandwagon for that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now I'm going to see you in June, right? Correct. You're going to show you're not going to stand me up. Stop it. Yeah. Ours are interview be, the same day as uh, your award show. Uh, I don't know. Me I don't either. know. <laughs> Do we have interviews on the award no, show? No, day? no, no. Uh, well, uh, yeah, we don't. Yeah, so we have. <laughs> yeah, so no. Yeah, so we have <laughs> so interviews no, the sixth, seventh, and eighth, and the award shows on the ninth. So I'll see you twice. Yeah. Yeah. Two times. And twice. maybe. Yeah, maybe. And he may get a Wava this year. I don't know. He's already got one. Or do you have two? Um, because you like, like smoked a lot of people that first time. 
Yeah, but last year I didn't. Well, we didn't do it last year. No, no, the year before last I was signed. Yeah, you were and doing other I, stuff. I, I was like, I could. Like, I would have had you on anyway because I mean, if you started out on the show, it's different than if you I know, didn't know. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, I'd have been all about it. Yeah, but he may have another one of those. You never know. We'll see. Never know we'll see what happens. Get. Boom! That's He'll put it by his Grammy one of these days. That's in my son's uh, bedroom. One of these days. That's so cool. Yeah, <laughs> that's in my son's bedroom. Uh, so, are we, I guess we're done. Right? Yeah. We're finished, so I'm going to take Don't us out this time. That's a good idea, because I'm time. not as good at it as you. Right. CaseyAllen.com. Uh, y'all make sure you go check it out. Buy the music. Stream it on Spotify. Do both. Buy it and then stream it on Spotify. That you way everything's cool. It. I'll hunt you down. And she will. She will. <laughs> CaseyAllen.com. That's C-A-S-E-E-A-L-L-E-N. Uh, now, I do appreciate everybody that listens, uh, whether it's on Spotify, Spreaker, uh, iHeartRadio, wherever it is. Um, we don't take you for granted. We never, ever, ever will take you for granted. Um, but yeah, I guess that's the show today. So until we broadcast again, please remember this. Let me pull this up so I sound professional. Please remember this. Life is good, and we're gone. <laughs> Things might be looking grim I guess it's time